Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do color correction. So this is the way I do it. Um, so here is a, a clip, or a screenshot of a clip anyway. I was a bit too lazy to record a clip for this tutorial. Um, as you can see, this is just some uh, random screenshot I took of a player on Inferno. Uh, it's nothing special really. I'm just going to turn it up to uh, the best quality, that way it's easy to see. Um, so I use Magic Ball Looks to do my color correction for pretty much all my edits and uh, frag movies. So first off, just add uh, looks to the clip, all the screenshots in this case. Click Edit Look, and this is what Magic Ball Looks looks like. So here is the uh, well, your clip that you've uh, imported and selected. And uh, what I do is head over to the Looks tab over here. And uh, there are a bunch of presets that have already uh, that already come with Magic Ball Looks, but what I do is I just sort of go through these, hover over them to see which one looks uh, good, and just keep sort of going until I find. I just keep looking through until I find one that looks decent. All right, so this one I think looks pretty decent. So I'm just going to pick the minimal grade head start. So with uh, this preset, it comes with colorista and S curve pre done. So here are the settings. Um, it's not really anything special. If you really want them, you just like this same preset as well. And then what I do is start modifying it. So first of all, I start with subject. Uh, I add some pop like that and just increase it a bit. So it looks a bit nicer. So uh, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave it like that. Then add a bit of hue and saturation. And uh, I want this to have a slightly darker vibe. So I'm going to uh, remove some of the saturation like that. I think that looks pretty decent. Uh, once I've done that stuff, I just keep moving along until I find what's perfect for this edit or this uh, clip anyway. So exposure. I have to bump that up a tiny, tiny bit, like so, just to make it look a bit brighter. Now this you will have to adjust depending on your clip, so always adjust the brightness depending on what clip it is, because uh, some maps are slightly brighter than others and you will have to adjust it. If your clip is overexposed, it will look pretty bad, so always um uh, change this depending on the maps. Sometimes you can get away with using the exact same exposure for all clips, uh, sometimes you can't and you have to adjust it just to make sure it's not overexposed. Uh, add a bit of contrast to make it slightly darker. Um, probably a bit too dark. Alright, so a really good tool I use a lot in my color correction is HSL colors. So this is HSL colors here. You get to adjust all the uh, various colors listed here. But, but with the uh, hue and the saturation and the lightness, uh, what I usually do is you use the saturation for the colors. So in this case, I like to increase uh, the saturation of the uh, reds a bit. So I'm going to keep going till about there. I can also increase the uh, oranges as well. Alright, so this is pretty much what I do. I just keep adding uh, tools from Magic Build Looks until I think something looks decent. Um, might turn up a bit more. Uh, so yeah, just keep adding stuff until you find uh, what you think looks good. Uh, this looks pretty decent in my opinion. Um, so I'm just going to click uh, yes like that. Then you can see that it's been added to the clip. And the difference is like that. You can see this one is uh, slightly more saturated and a bit darker, has that kind of darker vibe compared to this, the uh, raw clip from uh, CSGO. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I do my color correction. It's not really anything special, it's just playing around with the uh, Magic Books uh, tools and settings until I find something that I like. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.